Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 260. I'm Ryan, joined by my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin. It's a new year, 2023. Hey, we're going to start hey. off with a bang. How you guys doing? Wonderful. Banging. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you this can say a, that. This is a family friendly <laughs> show. <laughs> I don't think you want to know that, what's going know on there. What it means. I don't I don't know. <laughs> so it was a bang. Was... <laughs> How was everybody's New Year Eve and New Year's Day? <laughs> it was good. Rocking. Yeah. Rocking party hardy. Yeah, we did you yeah. guys watch the um ball drop or whatever? <laughs> we actually missed it at my house. We we did we did so, too. So we had people over, um, it, families. So we, so they weren't there super late, right? Everybody left at maybe nine or so, you know, maybe ten. And, but my son was was set on waiting to see the the new year, you know. And oh, um, so whatever that is, you know. Um, so we did. <laughs> we waited, and I fell asleep. And then I woke up right before and I was like, Oh, we need to turn it on. And we were trying to find it and it, we missed the ball. And, um, but we're like, Hey, happy new year. Yeah. <laughs> it's just another I, I, tick on I the forgot clock. About, I forgot <laughs> about that. The, the time change that we're in time, time and that's, oh, oh yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, we still, yeah. I was like, Oh, it's 11. It's only 11 o'clock. And I'm like, Oh wait, <laughs> it's midnight on the East coast. Well, mm-hmm. missed the ball drop. But no, they replay no, it though, right? Yeah. We watched the Nashville version, which is a central yeah. time zone. Yeah. They yeah. dropped the music note. That's oh, right. music note. Yeah. Well, uh, we, we saw the ball, the Kia ball drop. Um, because it's 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 the Kia ball drop. It came a man. <laughs> and uh yep. Um we, we saw that and then and then we uh we saw the New Orleans um knowledge what, boy scout symbol uh, drop i don't know what they oh. call it it looks <laughs> like the boy scout. <laughs> <laughs> we watched the boy scout drop in new orleans we watched the boy scout drop in new orleans that's what it looked like uh, i don't know what they call it but <laughs> it's like the floor de lee right it's the, that's yeah, the, that's yeah. The, that's yeah the new orleans saints fru, 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 fru. The weeblo yeah the, the weeblo sign weeblo. or whatever the mm-hmm. fru, 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 I think. <laughs> so it was, it was very um we, there was no party in here. I mean put the kids no. to bed and mm. well, I, it. sat around it's time zone like uh, it's all about the eastern like because yeah east coast you get the ball drop middle central it's like random things yeah. and then, like west coast it's like who cares <laughs> yeah. if, if you want to watch a really good um New Year's Eve thing is yeah. is is the england in england in london they do a huge fireworks mm-hmm. show that's like out on the river and stuff it's 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 giant and they got the big ferris wheel like shooting fireworks off of it um you can find it on like youtube and stuff it's it's uh-huh. uh, like the best new year's show to watch the big ferris wheel in orlando new year's Eve caught fire i think <laughs> <laughs> something happened to it and everybody was stuck on it <laughs> yeah 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 hopefully not with fireworks maybe that not with people on it because that would be bad there was no fireworks but something sparked on it it didn't catch on fire (laughs) but it did something and everybody was stranded on it i think yeah anyways uh so i thought for the new year we would try something different this year Mm -hmm. and it's potentially it's something that our listeners our watchers can play along with us yeah um, a little, um, uh, you may have heard of it. You can tell we're getting older. You can tell that we're in 200 episode 260. We're, we're breaking out the old bingo as the, uh, Chris plays it all the time on the cruises. That he I on. do. I often win on the cruises. So yeah, well, I'm, nice. good, I'm good at bingo. I'm good at bingo. So you should be good at this game. Then we're going to do, um, the, I am geek movie bingo 2023. Um, I've made, I've constructed a board, a bingo board that each of us have our own. They're all different between the three Mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. And I've got like 30 of them. So if you want to play along, just send us an email at imgeekshow at gmail.com. And we can send you, we can email you your own personalized 
Yeah. Movie bingo I'm gonna, I'm board. Gonna, I'm going to email them right now and get my own. You could. You already, 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 you already you got yours. You could also oh, just find this on. I want to find one another media. one. They could also just find us on social media, Ryan, and on Instagram or Facebook and send us a message and you could share it that way too. Whatever's I easiest. Guess. Yeah. Maybe a bit easier to do the email, but you know, for me. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's how you win bingo. You had your bets and you get more than one card. Yeah. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. I guess you get more than one card. That's true. Anyways, yeah. so yeah. I couldn't do, uh, I could only do with the bingo generator I found five across, five down. So um, I put some movies in. There's going to be a lot of movies coming out this year, mm. which I feel like opposed to last year that there, there I feel like there's more coming out this year. There's more potential. Yeah. Sure. Maybe yeah. because people are catching up with the, the pandemic and they're getting their movies done and stuff. I don't know. You're in the business, Chris. I you should know. Sure. Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we could go over some of the movies tonight. We could say what we're looking forward to, what we're not looking forward to, what we think may bomb, what we didn't mm. even know was coming out. Like there's some movies on here that I'm like, Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't yeah. even know that was happening. And I think we have, if you want to show them the board. Oh, there it is. Look I at this beautiful that. thing. Mm. I chose the um, Save Inc. version of the board. Some of them had like American flags, uh, jack-o'-lanterns. Mm -hmm. I, I chose the one that saves you ink. It's from huh. myfreebingocards.com. Well, nice. not, a, not a sponsor. <laughs> yet. So when we see one of the movies, we can mark it off on our bingo. And then that next episode, we can talk about the movie we saw, sort of give a review what we thought of it, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris will probably see all these movies. <laughs> Katrin and I... Well, not all of them. <laughs> Katrin and I probably won't see that many. I, I will be the, the most likely not to see most of these movies yeah. just because I don't see many movies, but... I, I'm interested in a bunch of them. So there's a good yeah. thing. I am too. But when you have kids, it makes it harder to get to movie theaters. Hmm. So unless it comes out on HBO Max or Disney Plus or something like that, yeah. who knows? But maybe this will maybe this will make me want to go back to the movie theater and see movies because I'm like, I got to check it out. Because if, uh, if I win, there's a big prize. If you win, oh. a big prize. Oh, look okay. at this! Yeah. No, <laughs> we get the the prize is you get to watch Catron eat that <laughs> hottest chip. Right That's now. what you get to. Well, I think oh. you could really take your kids to any of these movies. So. Well, that's what I was going to ask: is are there some that that they could go to? I mean, Cocaine Bear. Uh, they would yeah, love to see Cocaine yeah. Bear. <laughs> that, was, that was the first one I was thinking of. Yeah. Scream. Screaming would be great for them. Dune 2. I mean, they love sitting in movies yeah. for a really long time. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be, be perfect. I, Dune 2 is going to be a hard one to watch. I know everybody loved it probably, but I just couldn't get into the first one. And then when it ended, I'm like, oh, they're making another one, I guess, because that ended weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they could see Super Mario Brothers probably. Yeah, I mm -hmm. wondered about that, if that was... Um, going to be family friendly. It seemed like it was going to be, or is going to be. It's animated, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. There's <laughs> Elemental, which I don't know much about that one, but it's a Disney movie. It's a it's a Pixar. It's like, hey, what if these things oh. that aren't alive are alive and had feelings? That's mm. oh, I probably won't get that do. square then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to get a new new sheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mark that off and put something else. There. Free space. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have we do have a choose your own movie space. So yeah. If you see a movie that's not on here, you could be like, "I'm gonna count this as my choose your own movie," and then maybe uh, elemental will change. Uh, let's start. Let's do this. Okay. We should do a draft mm -hmm. and see who can pick the biggest money makers for the year. Oh, that's sort of cool. In our comments, mm -hmm. fans said we yeah. should have draft to see which movie do we think is gonna make the most money. Megan, mm -hmm. is it even on there? Or I think I took it off. No, it's it's not on here. But it comes <laughs> yeah, it comes it out off. tomorrow. I kind of right. see it. Yeah, <laughs> I it's one that I would watch if I was like, oh, look, it just it's on HBO Max now. But it's not one that I'd be like, <laughs> gotta go. I to need to go it. see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which some of these it. are like that. You don't want to uh, see an okay. kid try and kill people. That's what. 
That's what it looks like. It's creepy. <laughs> you know the thing about me and creepy dolls, and that's pretty much what that mm-hmm. is. It's, it's perfect uh, for you. Oh, no. No. How about we go around and say which movie, just, just to start, just a little, you know, appetizer here, which movie we're most looking forward to on this list? Man, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of good ones on here. There's a few that uh, you 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 asked earlier or said earlier. Maybe you're gonna ask this later. Is like which one surprised us of being on here? Yeah. So, um, I there's a couple I don't I didn't really know about, and I feel like I should have. But um, and I guess we can talk about that later. But the one, yeah, um, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that. Hmm. Just looking most forward to. The one I'm probably looking most forward to is Spider Verse. Okay. Uh, just I I love the first one so much. Um, the yeah. uh, the trailer for this new one looks great. Like there's all kinds of like, just looking at it, there's all kinds of Spider Man from all kinds of other cartoons and the comics that you can spot mm-hmm. in it. Um, that uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to see what they do with this one. It just it look it looks fun. The music was great in the first one. The animation was great in the first one. There's supposed to be like I don't know several different animation styles, like six or something. Yeah. I don't know going on in this one. Uh, and I, I I love I love a, a good animated movie that just kind of surprises you. And yeah. So, yeah. So I, I'm like cool. there's a lot of them on here I want to see, but I'm, I'm probably like really excited for that one. I think for me, um, I, I kind of ch- struggle with one over the other, but because um, I feel like I should want to see Indiana Jones the most because I love Indiana Jones, yeah. but I'm worried about it, I suppose. <laughs> you just never know. Yeah, <laughs> you never them, know. You know? Mm-hmm. So I think what I'm going to go with is Ant Man, which comes out pretty soon next month, right? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's the one. And, and the reason I asked about earlier too, about uh, the ones that I, I didn't know about and I, Wonka, I did, I guess I forgot or didn't know or whatever, but I'm, I'm curious about that one. And that might be yeah. the one that I'm really excited okay. to see, but that's all in December. <laughs> that's sure. That's like a young, a young, or, yeah, a young version that's, of Wonka. Uh, okay. Right? I do yeah, kind of remember that. It's before the chocolate factory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it's him like trying story. out chocolates like, I like so this chocolate of, better than this chocolate. So kind of Maybe like I'll put this one in the factory. The um, <laughs> what's that movie before Oz? That um, the, the Oz the Great and Powerful or something like that that has um, oh uh, from the Disney did yeah um, yeah I know what you're talking about and they had um, mm-hmm. Harry what's from... his name playing <laughs> Oz um, yeah Harry Osborn um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh, so it could be something like that but yeah I, I'd be interested in that one. But I, I guess yeah. since I don't know anything about it, I'm going to go with Ant Man three. Mm-hmm. Long winded answer. Good choice. Yeah, yeah, I'm torn between two of them. I mean, like you said, Indiana Jones. I'm interested yeah. in that. And the last Ghostbusters was so good. Was so mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that I'm really excited to see another addition to the Ghostbusters yeah. universe. So that would be my top two if I had to. If I couldn't narrow it down to one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you, but you have to. Ones, so. Oh, I have to. Okay, then <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think some. Of, I think some of these on this list, which we can talk about, are gonna end up being pretty sad. And I don't. I'm not a big fan of sad movies. Um, mm-hmm. From the rumors I'm hearing, Super Mario. Is gonna be <laughs> yeah. Super oh no, no. Oh, the comments. The comments. <laughs> The comments we got. What's your favorite Indiana Jones movie? The, uh, Drew with Drew says mine was The Last Crusade, but Raiders is a close second. Hmm. Uh, I got I got to go. With, yeah, Sean Connery. Yeah, Last Crusade was really good. <laughs> that was good. That was yeah, that, good. Uh, that's tough for me. I liked all three of them. Crystal <laughs> Skull. I mean, it's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what made me worried about the new Indiana Jones movie. It's like. Crystal, but the thing is, the I, did, I mean, I still enjoyed watching the Crystal Skull. Like it was still an Indiana Jones movie, even though it was weird. And yeah, yeah. <clears throat> up to a still, certain well, point, it was good, and yeah. then it jumped the shark. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> with the ants <laughs> crawling up to do yeah, the, the monkey swinging. 
and like uh, around that point, it just started. Yeah. Like, what is happening? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, like even even the fridge thing, getting in the fridge thing, and just like whatever. Yeah, it's just like it's like okay, some fun chase stuff and stuff. Why are, we're swinging with monkeys? All right. Yeah, so, it think, was. Man, <laughs> it had its rough <laughs> moments. Uh, I would probably say Raiders. I, I guess that's that's probably my favorite one. Just th- it started yeah. it all, right? <laughs> uh, have we heard much about the new one? I'm trying to think. We saw like a little teaser. Right? I hear Harrison Ford's in it. Yeah, yeah he's in it. Um, <laughs> there might be some Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> How can you have a Indiana Jones movie without Nazis? Exactly. That's why the other one failed. This last one. <laughs> That's what it and is. Nazis in it. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have de-aged Harrison Ford a little bit in some parts of it, right? I think I saw that there. Uh, Doing hmm. some de-aging stuff or maybe some flashbacks or something. Hmm. Instead of Shia LaBeouf, which I don't know if they're going to explain that, there's going to be basically a girl that's sort of going to be the new Indiana like Jones. His, he's, he's her godfather or something like that. Mm. I think. Yeah. It's gonna, it's, I think that's gonna shy. Be. I got the boot. They bring in the girl. Well, they're yeah. pulling us. Ray Skywalker, aren't they? Mm-hmm. My name is, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sarah. What's your last name, Sarah? Sarah Jones. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> Indiana. Indiana. Oh, wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I guess her name would have to be a state. Dakota. So it wouldn't be Dakota. It would, Dakota. 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 My name is Dakota. What's your last name? Dakota. Dakota. Miss Sapley Jones. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jones. Let's see a force ghost of Indiana Jones. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not a force ghost. I'm just old. <laughs> My name's <Yeah>. Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> Rhode Island. Dakota is that, Jones. Is that is that two words? Is that the is that your first and last name? Like no, just Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode One word. Jones. <laughs> and he's gonna have think, this fancy whip scene where he gets shot by a lot of guns. Yeah, that's the only I, scene. I think one of the things too that did made it not do as well for me is they tried to do too many callbacks to things and mix them in there. Yeah. I mean, maybe they did a ton, but it was just kind of like, oh, it's cheesy, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> and I, I mean, I saw that one. Once. I've seen it a few times, uh, and I think it's because it was on TV, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe when I used to have cable, and it's like, oh, here this is on. I'll watch it. Why not? It's on TBS or whatever. You know, <laughs> uh, I don't. Know. And I've played the, yeah, so uh, the Lego the Le- Lego Indiana Jones video game oh. a few times, which has um, that movie in it. If I'm not mis- just oh. mistaken, yeah. like there's this part where you you um, they have this yeah yeah because they have this neighborhood set up, and you have to do things uh, before the bomb hits or whatever. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get, find the Lego fridge. You have to get in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like the first, first scene. One, of course. But anyways. All right. So which movie on this list are we looking the least forward to? That we're like, ah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mermaid. Wow. That, really, <laughs> that was fast. You didn't really hide <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't think about it at all. Why is that? <laughs> because because Disney's remakes, their live action remakes, it's just it's not unnecessary. Been good. It, and it's unnecessary. Like it is, yeah, it's it's nothing against anyone in the movie. It's nothing against the writing of the movie. It's like I can watch this movie right now, and it would be yeah. good. Like I don't need like is I I, I watched Pinocchio, man. And, <laughs> oh, man. man, I gave up on the live action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that's the question. Have any of the live action movies been good? The the only ones that have been like pretty decent or good, like Cruella, Cruella was good. That's that's a good yeah, one. Pretty yeah. good. But but the thing that's is, different, they made it its own movie. Yeah, like its own thing. They didn't do a frame per frame. Like, yeah, and it was actually remake. live action for the most part. Yeah, yeah, it was actually live action. Like. <laughs> You cannot tell me the Lion King live action is live action because it's not. It's not live action. <laughs> it's animated. I didn't even see that one. I, was, I guess Beauty and the Beast I, was live you, action too. Technically, you've most. seen it. Technically, you have seen. <laughs> yeah. The oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Beauty and the like, Beast was. I mean, it was the same. That was, but it was good. Yeah, I mean, that was, was a good, good one. Good. Yeah. I mean, the the stage play, the they Broadway show, is more live action than the movie that's supposed to be live action. 
<laughs> What's the last live action movie that is? Pinocchio. Was or, last oh, movie. yeah, Pinocchio. Yeah, I didn't even and it was, I didn't oh, even with that one. So bad. So bad. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um, oh, Pinocchio. <laughs> it's a, isn't there some like weird um, black cyclone or wind or something creature in it? Or no, I'm thinking of something. Oh, like there's like, yeah, there the at the at the was it Paradise Island or whatever, whatever they call it? Um, Pleasure Island? Pleasure Island, yeah. Pleasure Island. Hmm. The, um, yeah, the, there's these like lost smoke, smoke. monsters that, yeah, smoke <laughs> that are like yeah. that are gathering up the, the kids that have turned into to donkeys because they were drinking root beer. Oh, for shame. And busting clocks. Oh, oh. Mm. I mm. know. Mm-mm. Horror. Uh, Gen Gen Z, mm-hmm. clocks. I know. Um, Gen Z. Which one's Gen? I don't even know which. Uh, who's who? The current one. Uh, right. It's current one. Yeah, they would bust yeah. clocks. They're like, what are these? What are these things with these arms on it? I don't like it. Around. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Uh, it's numbers. <laughs> numbers. Uh, anyways. Um. <laughs> Katrin, yeah. which one are you least looking forward to? Did we say Little Mermaid? I don't, I don't remember. You know what? Can, can we, make can we go movie? back around to Little Mermaid? <laughs> can, you know what could make that movie good? Is if it was... Uh, they just, what they just happens, replay the animated movie. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what happens after the animated movie. No, but it's yeah, not. but they, but the but way no. they're doing that, it, yeah, they can't really do that. Oh, I know. I, I'm just saying that's what you mean. But uh, it, yeah, anyways, I, yeah. Well, it's, it's enough, I guess. On that, if it um, was a bet, if it was another story, yes, I would be like, oh, let's see what this is if, about. But when they just redo the same story, and they're like, well, we'll just change a couple things. No, it's not worth it. I think they just do that to keep the rights to those stories or something. I uh, really that's that's what it kind of comes down to is yeah. Just so I'm picking something different, I'm going to go with Elemental. I, that's the one I'm probably least interested in as well. Another one um I've not yeah. been crazy about the Pixar movies lately and it, yeah. it does seem like mm-hmm. it's kind of like a which I love uh Inside Out is a really good movie, but it a lot of those have been and even that one it's it's like there's a a point behind it, you know, why do we have a point to a movie? I just want to enjoy a movie, you know? And and it's a formula. Pixar has had a formula and like, this is what we know works. And this is, this is the story. It's yeah. Things that are alive are alive now and they have emotions. Now what happens? We have a message to tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't know. I guess any movie does, but it's um, you know, it feels like it's thrust down your throat with those movies, you know. And we're gonna make you it cry. cry. Light beer, light beer, whatever. Light beer. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I need to change it, choose a different one. So we just have different answers. You should mm-hmm. choose, All right? Because I I sort of agree with you guys on both of those. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'll pick something different. Oh, great. I'll pick I'll pick one that will probably get me hate. Well, I'm I'm just not interested in another Mission Impossible movie. <laughs> I knew that was the one you're gonna pick. Yeah, we, we yeah. kind of knew. I said Ryan's not movie. gonna watch that one, so whatever row it's in, he's not gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I may watch it just to get this, uh, <laughs> but uh, um, oh yes, and and do too, Vance. Definitely, I hope I can stay awake during it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I just don't. If it was somebody else, if they were like, let's replace Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible, would be like. All right. Maybe. I feel okay. like they've been spread out too much, and it's like, oh, another Mission Impossible movies, uh, Mission Impossible movies come out. Do I need to remember what's happened so far? Am yeah. I going to be lost on who these characters are? Nah, now nah, you shouldn't be. Um, the The first two were good, and then they kind of went downhill. Yeah, but then yeah. around the time they brought Simon Pegg in, mm. is when when they kind of picked back up again and were good again. Um, like the one with Henry yeah, Cavill, like was good. Yeah, like Simon I remember Pegg the one. In this one, again. I think the last one I saw was the one where you thought Tom Cruise's character died, and I'm like, yes. And then it's it, your favorite, like, not not dead, and you're like, ah, 
They didn't kill the main character off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big Tom Cruise fan. Everybody knows this. What? Anyways, hmm. you could be listening though. He's got people Probably everywhere. Is. You mm-hmm. just have to look down because they're all very short. Oh, yes. hey, oh. <laughs> all right. Which movie do you think is going to be out of this list? Is going to be the biggest bomb of 2023? Oh. And by for those that don't understand, the biggest <laughs> bomb would be the one that just does not do well at the box office at all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I don't because because they're bringing in Beast Wars. I think that's and and the last um, yeah was it Bumblebee was actually good. I I think it's I think it's actually going to do pretty well. Mm, yeah. Um, the one that probably isn't going to really make it because some of these we haven't seen a trailer for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're not quite sure. But I've got a bad. Feeling for Blue Beetle, mm. yeah, um, because they've tried to put Blue Beetle in so many shows and cartoons, and it mm. never quite works out for him. <laughs> and even in the comics, like I don't think that, that he's had his own series several different times. It always seems to get canceled, <laughs> but they really keep trying to push that Blue Beetle. Um, but I mean. Uh, apparently some reviews have been good. It's like one of the few DC properties they're keeping around with the new regime change. Oh, they're keeping it? I figured it'd yeah. just go away. Put out the movie yeah, and be like, we're done with it. Apparently it, it, it's actually pretty good, so that's why they're still keeping it. That's why they're finishing it and they're putting it out in theaters. Um, I kind of have to see a trailer for it to see, but I, the track yeah. record of Blue Beetle has not been good in, mm. in comics or shows. So I just. Okay. Katrin? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. <laughs> Blue Beetle. <laughs> Green Beetle, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know enough about Craven. We, Chris and I were talking a little bit beforehand. Yeah. I know he's um, a character that uh, is uh, kind of a, a nemesis to, to Spider-Man, I guess. And mm-hmm. um, I mean, it could be interesting, but it's kind of on the same line of Blue Beetle. It's like, who's this guy? <laughs> you know, and <laughs> people are going to be, I don't know. And especially after uh, Morbius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was bad. I, I didn't even watch it and it was bad. <laughs> Or <laughs> it's the clip. Morbius isn't as like oh. Morbius isn't as bad as people lead you to think. It's still not a good movie, oh, but it's okay. not like it's but, it's not like it's watchable. But oh, no. <laughs> yeah. that's about it. <laughs> I want that to be on the movie poster as it's the watchable. critic line. It's watchable. It's on like I think it was on Netflix or something. It came on like something like that, and that's why we watched it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll go with that. Um, just because I don't know, I have another thought too. But I'll let you go ahead. I mean, the way they've been promoting Disney movies and Pixar movies lately, Elemental just may not make it in the, at the movie theater. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. Strange World. And then didn't they'll, what do they'll well do? They'll, they'll do the same thing they do with Strange World, which I haven't seen Strange World, so I'm not going to judge it. I haven't seen it. Mm. But they'll do the same thing. It'll bomb in the box office. They'll put it on Disney Plus, and then there'll be articles saying, "Well, it bombed in the box office, but it is thriving on Disney Plus." Which Disney controls those numbers. You don't know what those numbers are, so of course they can say that. It's like, oh and, yeah, it's thriving on Disney Plus. And plus, it's new on Disney Plus, and people right. who have Disney and, yeah. Plus, they're like, "Oh, something new to watch." Right. <laughs> for like, I'll put this on while I'm vacuuming. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> We watched it. It was, I mean, the animation is, of course, really good, but the story is kind of predictable, and it's kind of mm. like, eh. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it so was Elemental could be horrible, the same but... type of thing. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling yeah, it won't do well in theaters, because the, it's just yeah, what's been happening. Yeah. The other one that I think could potentially is Renfield. Like, just because it has Nicolas Cage. Like, it there, people have a love hate relationship oh. with him. Like sometimes he has it's, these really decent movies, but then sometimes <laughs> it's bad. Like Wicker Man, I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a uh, 
Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, it, it'll like I have a feeling it'll it'll probably at least make its money back. I I, I yeah. I, I don't think they probably spent a ton of money on it. Mm-hmm. That, that uh, looks cause, <laughs> to be the cause, case. Because <laughs> like ones with like Elemental Blue Beetle, like yeah, those yeah. they probably put a decent amount of money behind them. Renfield um, is more of like a comedy, and so it'll probably yeah. make its money back. And it's yeah. I, I think like a cult. Like that's fall. what yeah, I was thinking. Cult, yeah. Cult. Yeah. yeah, it could be. But mm-hmm. but does that mean it thrives? Maybe I'm not looking forward to see video. It. Like when it hits I, VHS, the trailer, maybe I don't know. But. Yeah, the trailer looks After great. The trailer, I was like, oh, I want to see this. This yeah. looks fun. Yeah, I, <laughs> and I like the the guy, the not Nicholas Cage, the other guy. He's mm-hmm. from um, Beast. The <laughs> oh, I, yeah, oh, he's from. Oh, um, I, I thought he was X- the guy X-Men from the uh, first class. Oh, is he the same guy that was in? The zombie movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that movie. That's a good movie. Warm Bodies? Yeah. That was a good movie. I watched it again recently on the on a plane ride. Because <laughs> it was just one of the movies to choose from on Southwest. Uh, and I'm like, oh, this movie. I, this, I forgot how good this movie was. It's a fun <laughs> movie. So so Vance in the chat says Dungeons and Dragons. And that's that one has potential as well to, to not be great. <laughs> You know, because it a lot of times things that you they movies they make from video games or stories or whatever. I know it's not a video game necessarily, but um, uh, yeah, a game of some sort. It, it they don't always do well. You know, maybe they overdo things or uh, yeah. things come out cheesy, and it, it has the potential to be kind of cheesy. I, the marketing I, though is on point. Yeah, sure. I, yeah. I, I feel like it's going to do better than some of the past ones because there, it to yeah. me like there's a there's a lot of shows and stuff on like Netflix and Amazon Prime that are kind of Dungeons and Dragons based and mm-hmm. like they it seems like they're finding a way to kind of make that a little bit more fun like it's it's they don't it's not they're not taking themselves too seriously like the first Dungeons and Dragons movie. Sure. That wasn't yeah. good. <laughs> um, the the it's almost like a tongue in cheek type, um, yeah, thing with them. That I I think it could be a fun movie. Whether it'll do really well, I don't know. It may be too ni- niche, 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 whatever niche, niche. Um, where it's people are going to say, "Oh, that's that thing that I, those kids that I beat up in high school." I'm not going to watch that movie, you know. Or, <laughs> well, I bet um, Stranger Things just probably helps. With that, true, yeah, that's true, stigma. and that's uh, what they're hoping for. Yeah, that's true. Chris Chris Pine might uh, draw in some some people. That he's he seems yeah. to be in drawn yeah. from these movies. People like but, him in Wonder Woman. But yeah, it may not do well in the box office, but great on HBO Max. And Hugh Grant, <laughs> you seen the stand? Yeah, he, <laughs> I mean he's he's Sorry. in the best movie ever made, Paddington Two. So <laughs> that's true. He knows he's how to pick a, a good movie. So. I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't say what he's in that I watched the other night. Um, oh, I know what he was in recently. Yeah, yeah, which was a good movie. He knows how to pick. Up. I know. I hated to say that it was a good movie because <laughs> of the director. It was a good movie, but I figured it out. Anyways, we don't have to. Talk about it. All right. <laughs> did you figure it out before the end? Yeah. They yeah, added to. Um, <laughs> It's a mystery. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, did, did you see the stand the standy thing they have for Dungeons and Dragons at the movie theaters? Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm. it's so cool. So it's it's got like the movie title on and the characters on the side, and it's one of those you can walk behind and get your picture made. And the middle of it is the gelatinous cube, so it oh. looks like you're <laughs> floating inside the gelatinous cube from oh, cool. Dungeons and Dragons. That's funny, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. What is okay? Let's do this. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think is going to be a surprise movie that's you're going to be like? I didn't think that was going to be good, but that was so much fun. I loved it. Hmm. I'm going to go with the Marvels. Hmm. Oh, because okay. I I wasn't a big fan of the first Captain Marvel. Yeah. But I liked Miss Marvel, yeah. and I liked Monica Rambeau from WandaVision, and they're both yeah. going to be in that. Ah. So I, 
I feel like I could be surprised with that one. Um, all right. On how on how well it'll be on how good it'll be. Um, because I don't have really high hopes for it, but there are characters in it that I like now. <laughs> no, no offense to Captain Marvel. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I don't. I I feel like that will be better than the first one. I I don't know. I could. I hope see. so. I didn't mind the first one, but I hope this one will be better than it. Yeah. <laughs> My wife loves the first one. It's like, oh yeah, I love that hmm. movie. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, All right, which movie? <laughs> which movie are you talking about? It's, 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 you sure you're thinking the right one? <laughs> <laughs> um, I for me, the surprise. This is going to be funny. I think the Barbie movie is going to surprise us. I think oh, we're thinking, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be fun, like that a was, funny movie. That was the one I hadn't heard of, and um, Chris <laughs> and I were talking beforehand, and he said, "There's a trailer." I was like, "Oh, well, I must go see it," and it it looked like it would be um, good. I so uh, or at least funny, <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, just yeah, a, funny, a humorous movie, nothing um, serious what it makes- about it. What it makes me think of is the Lego movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the Lego movie's really well done. And I, I liked it. Um, yeah. The, I, I think it'll it'll have the right amount of humor, that right kind of edge to it. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Cool. I, I think I think yeah, I would agree with that. Agree. And then and you you all have actually kind of talked me into Renfield being good. So I think I'm going to go with that <laughs> one being the surprise one that I think I'll <laughs> like a lot. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Okay, um, how about a movie that you didn't know was being made that's on this list? I could go first. (laughs) Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mayhem. No clue what that is at all. I never heard of it. It didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah, new animated movie, like uh, like strictly animated movie. Um, But the thing, the thing with that is the person behind it is Seth Rogen. Oh yeah. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> it was on a list, so I put it on here, and I was like, I didn't even know there was another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out. Which fun fact about the Ninja Turtles? We talked oh, about really? this earlier. In England, it's called Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles because they don't want people glorifying or talking about ninjas in England. So mm-hmm. it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero Turtles. And so weird. even the song has changed. Teenage Mutant mm-hmm. Hero Turtles. And then it's like, well, it, um, yeah. I don't it's know. A, it's weird. It's, it's a similar situation. The second Turtles movie. Um, if you watch that, you'll notice that they really don't use their weapons quite often in that. Mm-hmm. And that, that was because it was kind of glorifying using like these, like, yeah, these weapons, these Lunchbox. ninja weapons to attack people like yeah mikey uses like you know um frankfurters he's like flinging them around um they're rarely using their weapons in that movie so oh. so did you see who is going to be Raphael? i i haven't looked to see who oh, tom man. holland this is tom holland is oh. going to be Raphael. really yeah oh. um cody christian is michelangelo james marsden is splinter Igby Rigney, you know him. Um, is gonna be talking oh, about Igby oh. Rigby, Ryan Potter, Casey Jones, um, Dylan O'Brien as Leonardo. Um, hmm. So a few I names. Think this is all rumored. Yeah. I, don't know yeah, I think so too because it's kind of weird because there's not a uh, like I'm looking uh, in Google and they kind of they pull from different sources like IMDb when you Google certain mm-hmm. like movies you know and for whatever reason the Tom Holland uh, image is not there it's just like this blank thing um, yeah so it, yeah if you that go was on, probably rumored if you go on IMDb the person labeled as Raphael is Shaman Brown Jr. oh well there you go oh Shaman Lama Ding Dong Shaman Lama Ding Dong yeah but not he's been in like a couple of things so Igby Rigby no. though is he still on like I don't see Igby Rigby uh, <laughs> Seth, Seth Rogen is, is there uh, yeah Seth Rogen will probably be Master Splinter uh, who's Igby Rigby gonna be 
I don't know. I don't even know who that is. I don't either, but it sounds <laughs> fan- fascinating. It does. <laughs> April O'Neil. <laughs> uh, so April right, O'Neil is see. Sienna Agudong. Oh, is what? This what? Is. <laughs> That's what I'm reading. How, how do you pronounce that? Agudong. A G U D O N G. Agudong. 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 Um, there you all right. Go. <laughs> Have we covered pretty well? We haven't. It's funny that none of us talked about Ant Man 3, really. None of us talked about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That was Catron's uh, mine. Was, oh, Ant-Man, yeah, he talked about so. Ant Man. We didn't talk about Guardians. I love Ant Man. Yeah, Guardians. Yeah, Aquaman. Aquaman. Guardians, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. It'll probably be a sad movie. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm, I, I don't want to deal with that. Because it's, it's an ending of an error. You already. You, yeah. You're you're pretty sure I don't know spoiler or whatever because I don't know I don't know if it's spoiler or not but like Drax is probably going to die. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's an article out of um, Dave Bautista basically saying like yeah I'm a, it's my last one I'm not doing more I'll be good to move on to to other acting stuff. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. I, Which I, I think Ant Man three could be sad too. Ant Man three could could have yeah. some sadness to it. Um, Shazam 2. I want to see Shazam 2. I like the first one, uh, yeah. So, like, uh, and and he's Damn. apparently one of the one of the characters that may be sticking around in the in the DC oh. universe. I uh, thought he was going away. No, uh, like, um, uh, okay. Zachary Levi that would, um, did, did say, like, did kind of like hint at it, like he's not going anywhere. Maybe they want that to would keep be hilarious. somebody happy and funny around and not depressing. Yeah. <laughs> right? mm-hmm. It would be funny. It would be hilarious if they keep him and they get rid of the rock. I think that's basically <laughs> what's happening. Uh, oh. <laughs> after, after the rock said that he wouldn't do Shazam, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm only doing this well, with A-listers well, or whatever. Well, apparently the rock has a thing in his contract where he can't be defeated in any movie that he's in. <laughs> he always has to win the fight. Oh, and, which is gosh. kind of bad if you're playing the villain. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm not a big rock. It's very fan, predictable. So that doesn't really feel. I think there's a lot of these on here that, that we didn't talk about that are um, probably going to be fine. You know, that, that maybe mill the road. Yeah. But, but, but some of them could flop because sometimes sequels just aren't good. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, the Shazam two could be a flop or Aquaman two could be a flop. You never know. And scream and who knows, but yeah, flash. Yeah. And flash. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 don't know. Know. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's a, I think it's a promo piece or something. Cause it doesn't look like it's a so finished goofy movie. Goofy poster. Well, I think, it, what, what what I'm talking about is there. It it has like a couple different versions of Flash in there. One in his like regular costume, but then one what it looks like has happened. He's taken a Batman costume and spray painted it to form a new outfit, um, which yeah, it's kind of happened. Like if they're kind of going off a of Flashpoint, basically he's probably at that point lost his powers and he's trying to get them hmm. back and he's probably going to be trying to get hit by lightning again. And so he's put the suit together <laughs> to make it, it happen. A rubber I'm suit's not going to help him. It, it, it looks like they're trying to <laughs> do a lot. Get hit by lightning. It looks like they're <laughs> trying to do a lot because they're, they're, you know, there's supposed to be Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck and Grant Gustin and all these people at Supergirl, Sasha Ka- Cali. I don't know her. But, um, Just a sweep it under General the General Zod. Some, some of it I can almost sing like like when they did Flashpoint on the Flash TV show. Mm-hmm. It's like a blink and you'll miss it. Yeah. Yeah. I think because I saw something like Christopher Reeves Superman oh, wow. was going to be in it. But it was probably going to be like him running through time and you just see stuff flashing by him. Could be. Yeah, thing. I guess it's going to be some of that. Um, supposedly, it's supposed to be good. That's another one they're keeping around for the new DCU. So, so was, they're keeping um, Flash? No. Wait, uh, I mean, there's still talk that Ezra Miller could keep being the Flash. Hmm. Why would they keep him? I mean, 
Why? Know, apparently the movie's like that in good. prison, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. But he should be like he should <clears throat> literally be in prison, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> and they're keeping him? They, he's a, and they're not keeping Gal Gadot, uh, the best well, Wonder Woman in the world? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they haven't really said they ha- they're not keeping her, but they're not going for Oh, I think the there's Wonder a lawsuit that's going. I think oh. there's a lawsuit. Oh, I really? think her this is a rumor. Her, Ben Affleck, and Henry Cav- uh, Henry Cavill are teaming together. Got some lawyers, and they're going to sue the WB <sighs> for breaching their contract. Basically, I don't know if I, I the fact that Ben Affleck's name is thrown in that makes me not believe it because I don't know. I don't think he really. This is a rumor. Wants to do it, <laughs> but I think they also James Gunn did say he was talking to Ben Affleck about a new DC project. Probably like directing or something like that. Probably not actually starring. Yeah. Well, that's how they that's how they shut him up and get him off the lawsuit. They heard about <laughs> lawsuit. They're like, hey, 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 how about you be a director? Here's your own project. Uh, but one movie we haven't talked about that I am looking forward to on this list. Is it the one that I'm saving for the end? Oh, is it? I mean, this could be know. the this could be the end. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is it the it end? Comes out on February 24th. Yes. The greatest movie on the list. Yes. Taking place in the based in Knoxville, the Tennessee, states in the world. Yeah, <laughs> we could go ahead and talk about it. Cocaine bear. Mm-hmm. This, this is going to be the sleeper bear. right here. Yeah, this is the sleeper that's going to take air, the whole world by storm. Mm-hmm. is excited. It seems like a sci-fi <laughs> movie. <laughs> <laughs> it really it's based on a true it's story. Oh, I know. That's what. <laughs> yeah, the, a bear accidentally finds cocaine and goes around and kills people. Yeah, yeah he ingests he cocaine. Ingests yeah. the cocaine. Yeah, not I don't know. Did, it, but he I don't know if in real life, it. if he actually killed, did the bear actually kill anybody in real life? <laughs> I don't know. He <laughs> goes on he a rampage. Took that cocaine. <laughs> yeah, eats uh, the whole block of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That that was one and I considered. Then, I was like, maybe I'm not yeah. looking at this right because y'all weren't talking about it. I was like, yeah. oh, then, yeah. oh, I was saving it for the end, baby. Yeah. And he attacks Jesse Tyler <laughs> Ferguson uh, mm. for Modern Family. It's it's gonna be something <laughs> else. Like the, is it the one cast, that I was see, like, is it one that you'll see? It in the looks theme? like <laughs> uh, we'll, pro- we'll looks probably like... go to the drive-in to see it. You want to see? It. <laughs> oh, that would be, <laughs> be a good drive-in one. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a good drive-in movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's one of those that you think when you see the you start to see the trailer and you're like, oh, is this a new sci-fi movie? Like for sci-fi channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and then you start seeing the cast and you're like, wait a second, they wouldn't be on a sci-fi. These are movie. A-list. is this like a legit movie? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Banks is behind it, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, oh, hey there. It's gonna yeah. be interesting. Mm-hmm. We uh, shall see. Hopefully, they'll put portray us Tennesseans well on it. Mm. We shall see. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't hopefully know. they're wearing for, shoes. I, I, <laughs> that's why I started to say it. Like I'm not wearing shoes right now, so I can't say anything. But <laughs> you're in your house. You don't um, need to wear your shoes. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Have we talked? In your have we covered? Um, we didn't really talk about Aquaman 2 or Scream. I'm looking forward to Scream. Yeah. I liked the last Scream. Did you see the last Scream? I, I thought the last one was okay. Um, I thought it was fun. It was like, was it the best Scream? Yeah. No. No. But it, was it one that I would watch on TV when it comes on for free? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I liked, uh, I liked some actors. The only thing that kind of about it's that got Wednesday in it. So, you know, I like yeah. it. Yeah, the only thing about this new one is they're not bringing back uh, the main Scream Queen. I can't think of her name. True. Yeah, isn't she sort of done though? No. This last <laughs> she's sort of done, right? On that note. Well, I mean, but they're but they are bringing back Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell. Well, they're not bringing back Nev Campbell. Mm-hmm. Well, she has a family now, you know, Chris. She's got little ones to take care of. Hmm. She can't be like going around trying to kill people anymore. Hmm. That's why they set up the uh, the new um, family that's going to be terrorized um, from now on. And it, I mean, it is basically they're doing Jason takes Manhattan. So hmm. uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because the, the the scene I saw they're on a butt on a subway. Yeah, subway. Yeah, 
and they see him like in the far end and then he keeps getting closer yeah, the, the, the lights, lights keep closer yeah. i mean closer. it could be good um i i like the screen movies um yeah it'll be, uh, fun. It'll be a fun slasher movie again it'll probably a, a it'll probably another uh, drive-in movie for us it's weird no. it's coming out in it'll, march uh, it's a prime, yeah, prime time a for summer. Halloween. I think the I think the screen ones usually yeah they usually in the like, summer. Yeah, yeah. I mean March is in the summer, but yeah. I mean towards you know what I'm saying the middle of the winter know, actually yeah still. usually <laughs> I think the screen movies aren't usually fallish movies. I don't think I'm trying to remember. Seems like it should. I don't be. remember. You would think. Uh, you would think. Yeah, the last I one came out in January. The, there you go. Yeah. It's a winter a Christmas winter theme. Winter mm-hmm. There we go. So um, is there any movies that aren't on this bingo board of 2023 that mm. you're looking forward to seeing? Oh, uh, I have to think here. To look up stuff. <laughs> right. Well, that list yeah. you sent us had more things, right? Knock at the Cabin. I kind of want to see that. That's a new Night Shyamalan movie. Um, yeah, it looks freaky. It's got Dave Bautista been liking him and stuff. Um, <laughs> that that could be interesting. I know Katrin is really excited for Magic Mike's Last Dance. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's his favorite series. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Yep. You, you were talking about the Evil Dead. What was the? Yeah, the... Evil Dead. A trailer came out for that today. It's a lot more horror than oh, I'll hmm. watch the trailer when you think of. Evil. It's because there's there's some disgusting stuff that happens in this new trailer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're just no. like, oh, I oh. Watch the trailer. Um, because like to me, Evil Dead it, it has like a bit of camp to it. It's got humor to it, and like you definitely don't see any of that in this new one. But I mean, it is Sam Raimi's behind it, um, and they did the one Evil Dead movie. It was kind of like a remake. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that, and and that one was pretty good. I, I remember enjoying that one. But it was more horror than. than, than I'm sure horror. Oppenheimer will be good, but it's not the type of movie I usually go see. Oppenheimer will be will, will be really good. There's a movie called Sixty Five that I'm kind of I, <laughs> I, I want to see. Um, it's got Adam Driver, um, and it's um, if you watch the trailer, there's like a little bit of a twist to it. It's like basically these people landing on a planet. And trying to survive, but there's a little twist oh, to it. Oh yes, I've but seen I'll, that. That's what I want to give away. Yeah, that looks that looks fun. I can't believe they gave that away in the freaking trailer. I know. You watch the trailer, you'll 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 yeah. If you watch the trailer, you're like, oh, there's there's the movie. Oh, well, there's the uh, twist. There's, there's um, the twist. <laughs> yeah, uh, new John Wick is coming out this yeah. year. Those movies are fun. Yeah. I've never seen any of those movies. Uh, those are fun. Those are good. Kind of. Just and you know, why I haven't seen any of those movies. Right. Oh, because the dog. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because the dog. I don't, I don't see movies where animals get hurt. I know. Oh, no. What about cocaine bear? Is cocaine bear going to get hurt? Probably. <laughs> oh, no. They did ingest a lot of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, hope, I was hoping they would just send him to rehab. <laughs> uh, the, the last Fast and Furious movie is coming out this year. Uh, is it the last? It'll be the last of the, the next one with these people, um, <laughs> at least. It'll it's be last next. for a while let's, until they let's reboot. Be it. honest, it's the next. So, one. Uh, yeah. Speaking of reboots, this is sort of off the subject. Hmm. Have you heard the rumor that they may be rebooting Harry Potter? I saw huh. that, and I hope not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> with an all new cast, and it's way just, too. Soon. Why those movies are so? Yeah, good. Why would you? It's way too soon. It's to just do a that. money maker, I guess. Mm-hmm. So well, supposedly that, this new video game, they're going to judge whether people would be okay with, a ch- you know, rebooting it. But mm-hmm. I don't think that's going to help. Well, me. I mean, the yeah. video game isn't even like Harry Potter. It's like, yeah, entry before Harry Potter or something like that. Yeah, so. which is would be good. I, I, mean, I, I would like. I mean, I'm sure the original cast won't wouldn't do it, but you know, the what is it, the Cursed Child? Yeah, the movie version of that. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. I, I feel like there's like a, a lot of stories that they could do within the Wizarding World that doesn't have anything to do. With oh the yeah, characters. yeah. But they don't want to take the time. They want because of <laughs> well because of the way Fantastic Beast did. Well, 
which but, that <laughs> really wasn't Fantastic Beast's fault. That was the whole studio trying to yeah shoehorn in yeah certain stuff. people and stuff. Yeah, and they're trying to shoehorn in like Dumbledore and stuff like that. And it's like it's not really about the character we thought it was about. Well, yeah, that and switching actors have been yeah, and there's like movies stuff like that. Um, that's why I did a movie that will probably not be good, but I'm gonna see it. <laughs> um, is the Meg oh, Two? <laughs> oh, uh, Shark if you saw, movie? It, yeah, the Megalodon. Because I love the books. I've read all the books, and they're really fun. Um, and the first movie was kind of fun. I mean, it's a giant shark movie. Um, yeah. They're making a sequel. It's got Jason Statham back. The, yeah. Was Samuel L. Jackson in the first? No. that You're thinking of Deep Blue Sea, which no, is also a good Deep movie. Well, that's, a good, that's, a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fun movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, Jason Statham. Yeah, he was. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah I, Jason it's Statham. all these shark movies. I'm all confused. They're flying in tornadoes. They're big. They're small. Yeah, I don't, I don't care that there's going to be another Hunger Games movie. There is. Yeah, hmm. it's a prequel um, following <laughs> oh. following the character Donald. So Sutherland it's just going to be based character. on 2022, 20, 2023, 20, just yeah. based on real mm-hmm. life events, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it tells the origin story of was it, um, of uh, President Snow. It's like the villain for yeah. some <laughs> other ones, mm. and I'm just like, yeah, current times. I'm good. I'm good on mm-hmm. that one. There, that may be ha- not not the Hunger Games per se, but the whole dividing into um, sections is sort of happening. Maybe happening in parts of Europe. Oh, in, oh good. In, in stuff, where it's like you're not allowed to go out of your section of the town, <laughs> but with only certain dates, and you got to get permission because it's protecting the environment or whatever. Mm. I saw something on that. I'm like, that's the Hunger Games, right? That's the start of the Hunger Games. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. The Hunger Games is happening. All right, cool. Um, I'm looking forward to this bingo thing. Yeah. We'll see. I'm sure Chris is going to win. <laughs> I'm looking forward to winning. <laughs> and, uh, we still didn't really establish until... what we win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Because if we do the, that, then the earliest I could win is in July. Mm. Oh, Katrin. I'll make Katrin, I'll make us our own bingo sheets to have like just movies that are we've already seen or ones that are on streaming already. <laughs> ones that your kids and we'll use watch. that one. <laughs> yeah. And then Chris can use this other one and then we'll what? Yeah. Why uh, is Bluey in like four squares? I don't understand. <laughs> it's the greatest show on TV. <laughs> 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 it has its own record out now. Oh, you can oh. buy the vinyl, Bluey. <laughs> vinyl. Yeah, I, Bluey's I a good show. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I have any chance of of uh, finishing it until November or, or December, just depending on which row, because it's okay. all the rows I have um, have the later dates. Do I, need, them, so. I need to give you a different card. I, I, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, just picked, I just picked one at random. I didn't even it's, look at it. This all good. Well, you no, technically, address. now technically, if I go diagonal, um, yeah, if, I could, diagonal. if I watch Flash, Little Mermaid, uh, Choose Your Movie, uh, Cocaine Bear, and Scream. That's a, quite a mixture there. <laughs> oh, I need to look at mine and see. But I have to. I don't know what the Choose Your Movie would be though. That's the difficult part. I guess it could be uh, well, Ant-Man. Whatever movie that, you that want. Kind of, yeah. yeah, whatever. Oh, I know, but I mean, yeah, now, it would does need the to be your movie the can't be on the list, or like mm, it, that's a good question. Is, right? No, it, it can't be on the list. Just oh, your movie, gosh, it's got to be a different when is, movie. When is mm. Wish coming out? I want to see Wish. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think I could, I could, like in July, I could win by going Spider Verse, oh. The Marvels, Barbie, Shazam, to and Scream. <laughs> I could win in July, also. Mm. Mario, Renfield, Choose Your Movie, Ant Man, The Marvels. Mm. Mm. So I've got like I could start in February. I mean, I could start right now with Choose Your Movie. I could go see Megan tomorrow. Or yeah, that's yeah. true. I could, 
I could also, in, with July, I could also go Indiana Jones, Mission Impossible, choose my own Flash and Scream, which might mm. be the better choice. Mm. So then I avoid Barbie. Ooh, technically, <laughs> I could end in June. Yeah, mm. I could go Scream, Shazam, <laughs> choose your movie, Flash, and Elemental. Just Ooh, but yeah, you, know, you gotta see elemental then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. We'll see who wins. I yep. I think it'll be fun. It'll be something different. It may even get us going back to the movies to win mm. that fabulous prize. <laughs> and if you play along, make sure you either shout shout us out on social media, ask us about it. Tag us. Um e- tag us, email us I am geek show at gmail.com and we'll send you a link to your very own mm. uh, bingo card that you can play wow. along with this. We'll so advance. Digitally autograph. Hope you play along. Yes. Whatever. That's <laughs> what you'll win. You're going to win an 8 by 10 of Chris <laughs> signed by somebody mm. else. He's got a Not even signed by Chris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 8 by 10 of Ray Chase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways all right well it's it's been fun i've i've enjoyed our time talking about the upcoming movies mm-hmm. um only, i mean we could do a whole new thing on another thing on um, the shows coming out because there's going to be a lot of good shows yeah, i think a lot of shows. St- with bad batch starting mm-hmm. uh, which we we watched the first two episodes kids loved mm-hmm. it i loved it it's bad batch and, and willow ending yeah. Um, Anyways, what I was gonna I was gonna bring up Willow. I know that's a sore subject for you. Um uh, with with um Bad Batch starting, we will have either a Star Wars or Marvel thing every week, I think, for the rest of the year. Wow. Wow. Or something like that. Something crazy yeah. like that. May not be the full year, but for a long time, starting yesterday. Day. Mm. Star Wars or Marvel is going to be, we're going to have something every week. Isn't that crazy mm. to think about? That's crazy. I thought it was. That's yeah. Crazy. <laughs> That's exciting. Crazy. It's crazy. It's wild. That's crazy. Which, this yes, crazy. I, I enjoyed the Bad Batch. I still think Tales of the Jedi has been my favorite Star Wars thing, thing. in a while. So make sure, yeah. Somebody put it well that Tales of the Jedi did more character building in its series then Andor did in like its whole series. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't finished Andor. You, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, all right. So I'm looking forward to the movies. I'm looking forward to all the fun geeky stuff coming out in 2023. We're going to have fun. There may be a n- new stuff coming from us. Maybe some other different projects coming. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have some guests on. It's going to be fun. And we'll have stories to tell. I'm going to a yurt on Sunday, so I can't wait to tell you all about Ooh. living in a yurt for a couple a of days in the, in the Texas, living in the dirt, Texas hill country. So um, somebody, I told them where we're going, and they're like, "Oh, you're going to wine country." <laughs> and I'm like, "I okay, I don't drink." So that's where people wine because they're in a yurt. They're like, yeah. "No, I hate that." <laughs> Where's the Wi-Fi? Oh. <laughs> There's Wi-Fi in a, and a yurt. TV. Hot tub. It's gonna that's be not fun. a that's not a true yurt, right? Oh, it's it's a fancy <laughs> yurt. It's a glamping yurt. Can't wait to tell you about about it and more fun stuff ahead this year for I'm Geek, and we'll see you next time for something new, something fun, and of course something geeky here on I Am Geek. Bye bye, bye bye.